Are you the one flying this thing? Yeah, this is the uh, Okay, so tell me about this. Well, this is called the Scout uh, UAV by Daytron. By and, Daytron. Uh, right. You got it. Daytron. Yeah, I got the... Oh, good. Okay. All right. Okay. And, uh, I'm with, uh, by the way, I'm with DefenseReview.com. Oh, so. outstanding. Great. I'm Cliff Hughes, and this is uh, Chris Barter, the program manager. Hey, Cliff. And this is what it's seeing right now? Right. This is the actual live video. We have a infrared camera that's uh, basing this off of a heat signature. And uh, this is the, uh, where we have a GPS system that's tracking this on a uh, map of these. It's your basic uh, quad rotor mini UAS. That's right. right. The, uh, except for the fact that uh, our four big selling points is that unlike most uh, UAS out on the market, we can fly in. Uh, yeah. There you go. We can fl fly in uh, wi strong winds, 50 kilometers an hour with gusts up to 85. We can fly in torrential range. Uh, it's very simple to use. We've taught people how to fly it in, say, five minutes. Uh, you're not really flying it. It's flying it. You're just merely telling it where you want it to go. And you can also uh, fly it out of sight. You don't actually have to see the aircraft uh, in any way, means, shape, or form to be actually manipulated. Hold well, on, one second. Nice. Stand by one second. Sorry. All right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So uh, those are the four selling points of uh, being able to handle the, the, the strong winds, heavy rains, uh, ease of use to be able to teach you how to fly in about five minutes, as, as well as there's there's no requirement that the pilot see the actual aircraft. You can actually fly it out of sight. Um, the unit has eight onboard sensors, uh, which are a three-axis gyro, a three-axis accelerometer, a three-axis magnetometer, uh, a GPS uh, uh, navigation, altimeter based on air pressure, uh, sonar, which kicks in for uh, three meters before the landing, as well as unit temperature, and it's got a smart battery. And some of the battery knows how many minutes and seconds it has left to flight that. If you uh, lose communication, uh, with the actual aircraft at any time, it's pre-programmed to fly home and land by itself. Uh, if it starts running out of uh, energy, it'll start beeping at you, telling you that uh, you need to take aversive action, either coming home or, or landing. If you totally ignore the, the warnings, it will come home by itself and land, uh, keep enough uh, uh, fatty fat to be able to get down and, and land. Uh, Can you bring this thing down to about 10 feet? Sure. Yeah. Chris? You're okay. That seagull was yeah, yeah. by there a couple minutes ago. Oh, yeah. And we actually had a an eagle in South America get into an attack formation and descend upon it. And it pulled up a few meters before it uh, actually hit. So it was actually yeah, trying to threaten. What's this thing called again? Uh, the Daytron Scout UAV. Daytron Scout UAV. Uh, yep. And how fast can it go? Uh, maximum speed is 50 kilometers an hour. Okay. We can fly up to 500 meters from the ta original takeoff point. We can operate anywhere below 5,000 feet sea level. With there's an optional uh, high altitude propeller kit, which will allow us to operate uh, all the way up to 13,000 feet operation ceiling. Hmm. Specifically uh, developed for. And it has a, a infrared and a daytime camera. Right. In it. As well as a, we also have a times 10 zoom camera and a, a GoPro high resolution uh, digital, camera. digital camera. Now, but you haven't incorporated also night vision into this. Oh, this, uh, yeah, we have infrared. Uh, infrared oh, well, you have infrared. In, 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 okay, in, in so you have thermal vision. infrared, but okay, but not. In other words, you don't have like a fuse sensor in it yet, or like you know, night vision and uh, thermal IR. Yes, I did. Uh, we have a, this is the, the, the flare climate, the uh, forward looking infrared. Okay, forward looking infrared, okay. Which, which right. is uh, the use of at night. Gotcha. Uh, Very cool. All right, you are watching defensereview.com.